hi, hello, and welcome back to the channel. Or if you are new here, welcome to the channel. My name is SJ, and I'm an adult doll and toy collector who just wants to talk about dolls and toys. And this channel is made for adult doll and toy collectors. And the 80s are back. Kind of. So uh, I think these are by the Loyal Subjects. Look at me. So prepared for this video. Hmm. Yeah. These are by my window is open and my neighbors are probably like, what the hell is she doing? But these are by the Loyal Subjects. They came out with Rainbow Bright and I believe Strawberry Shortcake. I don't really vibe with Strawberry Shortcake, but I'm all about Rainbow Bright. Rainbow Bright actually started, I believe, in 1984 as a Hallmark greeting card little thing, just like Strawberry Shortcake. Um, and then there was like a show and then a movie. I think the movie was called Rainbow Bright and the Star Stealer. Steelers and that came out 1985-1986 so uh, a couple years before I was even thought of I was born in 89 would I even consider myself an 80s baby I don't know but I came across Rainbow Bright when I was about eight or nine years old and it was either Disney Channel or Toon Disney that was showing the movie Rainbow Bright and the Star Steelers I don't know if it's Steeler or Steelers but that's an that's where my love for Rainbow Bright like blossomed and I she was like I consider her like a magical girl it's along the lines of Princess Guinevere and the Jewel Riders, Card Captors, Sailor Moon, all those type of shows that I watched back in the day. Loved the little star that she had on her cheek. I was like, girls doing the star face pimple patches before those were even a thing. So naturally coming across, you know, Rainbow Bright years later there were really no toys until I think the early or mid 2000s when I don't know who made them but they came out with dolls but they weren't really that great I had one and there was no articulation on that doll whatsoever but the loyal subjects has just released these new rainbow bright dolls this doll has 29 points of articulation <gasps> love to see it there's also like a plush doll version and there's like little mini doll versions um same with like strawberry shortcake they kind of have like the same thing but this one is pretty cool because on the back you get four little uh surprises and if you are interested there is the barcode i got this at walmart for 13 dollars I've only seen these being sold at Walmart. If you know somewhere else where they're selling this, selling these, drop it down in the comments to let others know. But let's move on over to the doll desk and get this girl unboxed. All right, here we are over at the doll desk. And this way you guys can get a closer look at what the box looks like. So it says four surprises to unbox. 29 points of articulation, 10 pieces included. Cute, cute, cute not for ages zero to three sad it's fine but it is for ages three and up and here is the back of the box so what's inside uh, it's a surprise you don't know includes doll six pieces styling fashions and i guess those are the other ones in the line um i need that one i love her i also need them to make her horse i was obsessed with her horse collect them all and then here are the four surprises and once again in case the barcode didn't show up perfectly there is the barcode again and ooh, 40 years of rainbow bright dang wow i feel old i'm not 40 but i'm getting there I'm getting there but let's, I wonder, do you unbox this first or do you unbox the doll first? I feel like if you take the doll out, then it kind of ruins the surprises that are in there. I'm like peeking over here in the corner. So let's just go ahead and unbox these first. Clearly, this doesn't work with nails. Just putting that out there. This does not work with nails. Ooh, what is it? It's, it's squishy. Why, why was it why did it feel squishy i don't know but it is a comb oh 
we have her little rainbow headband with three little stars on it. Oh my god, it's a little lunchbox. How freaking cute! Here she is out of the box. She is so adorable. Her hair is that beautiful bright neon yellow color. She has her little iconic bow up there and that little star right there on her cheek. And her hair is super, super soft. There's really like no product in it. Not even really in her bangs or her little tendrils right here. As far as her outfit, it is that papery satin type of material, but for a small scale doll, it's pretty fine, I guess. Um, and this little portion right here, her little rainbow belt is uh, like fabric, like a little fabric thread type patch. Everything is one piece and held in the back by Velcro. And her little boots are like a little rubbery type of material, but they are super cute. All right, so this is what she looks like without her little outfit on. You can see she has like a little purple like leotard underneath it is painted on. But this way you guys can see all the articulation that she has. So we do have articulation in the neck, the shoulder and upper arm the elbow though I will say the elbow joints are a little stiff we do have wrist articulation we can turn right there at the torso hip knee and ankle so for a little doll that is a lot of articulation was it needed no but I love to see it because you know small scale dolls like this toy companies don't really give them a lot of articulation but i love that the loyal subjects gave this small scale rainbow bright doll so much articulation and if you collect briar horses she's a decent scale for the freedom series or classic series horses uh so our little unicorn right here barbie we named her barbie is gonna have to do until I can get my hands on her horse because I have yet to find her horse anywhere and I love her horse along with I think her name was Storm I'm not positive if it's it's been a while okay but uh, I also loved her horse I need both those horses please the loyal subjects if you were watching this please make the horses in a decent scale to fit these dolls please but she is absolutely adorable. She is just, you know, on her way to go, you know, save the world on her little rainbow, on her little horse Barbie with her little lunchbox because you got to bring the snacks. You got to bring some food. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think of these brand new rainbow bright dolls. Do they just bring you back to your childhood? Were you even around when rainbow bright was out? I technically wasn't, but uh I did see this little girl go through so many different reincarnations and I'm so glad they brought like the old school versions back. But let me know what you guys think about the articulation, all that kind of stuff. And I hope to see you in the next video. Love you. Bye. Okay, real quickly, because I did promise you guys some updates on Allison. So the first night that we had her in the house, when me and my fiance were getting ready for bed, we did hear like a tapping noise, but could it have just been the cats? I don't know. And then the second night, me and LA were in here and we were in the doll room and I was helping her on a project from the state of Maryland. And every time we said the word Maryland, the lights would flicker. So was that Allison's way of telling us that she was originally possibly from the state of Maryland or do I just have like an electrical issue going on? I don't know, but those are our updates so far. Um, we 
are thinking about possibly seeing if we could like communicate with her so stay tuned for that but yeah hope to see you guys in the next video and don't worry i will keep you updated with allison